Hello, my name is Maya Altenberg. Monarch butterflies are dying and it's all our fault. That is a pretty cheering opening. Allow me to explain. You see, the monarch butterfly has been a spectacle of the insect world for many years, with ages ranging from school-age children to full-grown adults being able to recognize the species in a lineup as compared to, say, the Queen Alexandria's birdwing. This is in part due to the species' iconic orange and black wings, and the species' annual migration that many learned about in elementary school. What's less known about the monarch butterfly, however, is that in 2022, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature declared the species as endangered. The species' endangerment ultimately boils down to three key threats, those being pesticide use, habitat loss, and global warming. Other studies before me have looked at these threats in a vacuum and compared them to the monarch butterfly population to declare them as exactly that, threats. But no study before me has looked at all of these threats and compared them back to the monarch butterfly population in order to find the most impactful species. That's where I come in. You see, I performed a correlational analysis compared to monarch butterfly populations and threat numbers. I separated populations on a five-year basis if that's what I was able to find, and I did the same with threat numbers. From there, I performed a correlational analysis. My ultimate goal was to find which threat was the most impactful to the monarch butterfly from 1990 to 2022 in order to give conservationists an order, in order to direct their attention, resources, and money to, while also preventing the other threats from being completely ignored. After I performed a, so I performed a correlation analysis to create a ranking of sorts in the form of a scatter plot where I would see the difference between a positive, neutral, and negative slope of correlation. Once I performed this, I found that my data suggested that global warming was the most impactful threat from 1990 to 2022. I will be the first to admit this was not what I wanted at all. You see, pesticide use and habitat loss are issues that are cored in a company where environmentalists can really pull back the curtain and look at their practices and say, here's where you can improve in order to save the species. Global warming lacks that ability, with this being a worldwide issue that encompasses everyone from politicians to company heads to regular citizens. On top of that, this is an issue that we've known about for hundreds of years, yet no headway in fixing or reversing it has really occurred. Now, in the case of the monarch butterfly, the only way this would be prevented or reversed would be a community of people coming together and demanding a change from politicians and company heads alike, as well as being willing to change habit their own habits in order to provide a more environmentally focused future in order to save iconic pollinator.